Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the budget price Ruger EC9S. A lot of people said, hey, get that EC9S. You keep talking about budget guns, you're missing out on the EC9S made by Ruger. Now this is an offshoot from the original LC9, then LC9S. Now this is the only one they produce with this pattern. 3.1 inch barrel, single stack, seven round magazines. It's budget price because they ship with one magazine. That's one of the reasons. Has that base plate right there and then it does have a magazine disconnect so you're not going to be able to pull the trigger or anything like that with the mag deployed but it also has a thumb safety. Okay, a lot of people like that. Some people say I won't carry a gun without a thumb safety. Black oxide finish on the slide and the sights, this is another change from the LC9S. They're serrated black with the rear and the front. Very low profile and snag free. But they're not interchangeable because they're milled right into the slide. All right, they're not going anywhere. Some people may put nail polish in there if they like the three dot sights. But they are serrated black. And why are they snag free? The whole gun snag free? Because I think Ruger marketed this for pocket carry. Now that we have the summer months ahead of us, a lot of people would choose this. That's the feedback that I have gotten. Another change from the LC9S is the trigger itself. Now the LC9S had a very light trigger. Almost to the point of dangerous to pocket carry okay good holster will take care of that but nevertheless it has that trigger safety in there that tab and you're looking at around five and a quarter pounds how light was the lc9s it was around four pounds and that kind of takes the comfort level to a high new standard when you talk about pocket carry people don't want something that light and they they increased the trigger weight anyhow nice rounded trigger guard and a glass filled nylon polymer frame they say that's stronger ruger uses that with just about every one of their polymer pistols they say glass filled nylon i believe it is stronger than the standard polymer okay i've never seen polymer break or crack but i'm sure it has it's a basically a plastic but the glass filled nylon is supposed to be stronger i took this to the range functioned very well i had one stove pipe could be an ammo issue could be a breaking issue very budget priced performed well i'm going to talk about those two subjects so let's check this out My shooting impressions were pretty positive. A gun this size, you're not going to get the greatest accuracy. Everybody knows that. And sometimes hitting that 8-inch target from 12 yards is challenging. There's no doubt about that. But it did what it had to do. It fired every time with the exception of the stovepipe that I mentioned. And it is very small and lightweight. We're going to get it on the scale. But the EC9S, the recoil is certainly manageable. You know, I was shooting 124 grain, 9 millimeter, and it was fine. Let's talk about the price. The MSRP on this is $350. You're looking at right around $250 to $270 at your local gun store. Definitely under $300. Do not pay over $300 for this. Actually, in the, the mids. And, and Ruger now has many different frame colors everything from that neon turquoise to the gray to the flat dark earth to some of the other ones i don't know there, there are a bunch of them i just go for the standard black glass filled nylon there's a look at the slide serrations the grip not bad grip has a same texturing on the side panels as the front strap and the back strap get a good feel for the handgun and what I say, three-finger contact? Yeah, it's three-finger contact. But 350 MSRP, right around 250 it is a budget-priced handgun. And as I mentioned, people would be pocket-carrying this, and it wouldn't be a bad choice. There are still a lot of single-stack fans out there. I hear from these guys, and I will tell you, it is still pretty popular.
let's go ahead and check out the weight for those who are pocket carriers weight is an issue loaded bag seven rounds and here is the carry round we're looking at one pound five ounces only ounces you're looking at 21 so it would be a pretty nice pocket carry for those looking to do that it has a little little wobble not too much the slide the frame fit is okay it has an integrated barrel bushing right there that keeps things pretty tight when it locks up like that but overall not a bad feeling handgun not a bad shooting handgun given it's a subcompact nine millimeter single stack that many people are still fans of even though most are not i have to believe they say give me a double stack that's the new age way of doing subcompact guns well they have the max nine for that let's disassemble the ruger ec9s i have that orange piece in there that will allow the trigger to pull but yet not lock the slide back and we are clear the first thing we're going to do is take this gate right there push it down that will expose the pin Okay, a little plastic piece, you push it down. Then we need to move the slide back just a hair. I've got this little wrench. Some people use a punch. It'll go in the opposite direction. Push the pin out. I got it partially out, but that's the pin. And then we'll pull the trigger. And off comes the slide from the frame. Here we have a dual captive recoil spring, guide rod assembly, and a 3.1 inch barrel with an integral muzzle bushing it's a lightweight single stack nine millimeter handgun that is priced to sell if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe